what is up you amazing people we are finally here wow incredible one piece episode number eight reaction coming at you right now i'm not gonna say much going into this i said a lot in the last episode at the end of the last episode check that out if you want to but basically all i said was it's been building up to this point i want to see some great fights i want to just see what the show has been bringing every single episode and now nah, i just want it to end right on top as great as it can possibly be if you like like this content give it a like subscribe if you want to see me reacting to other shows mainly anime though don't get it twisted and hit the notification bell because why wouldn't you want to stay up to date with this okay without further ado one piece episode eight let's get it this one is called worst in the east so this is a bit of a throwback to where she actually got the sawfish tattoo i know i think i even wrote in the title it was swordfish or something i don't know <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I'm not a needles person at all. Oh, so it was where she was chained up. And that's the other thing. You have to realize, and I said it in the last episode, you have to realize, I mean, look, even her ankle is all busted and bruised, but you have to understand that any person who goes through this crazy life will have such a hard time trusting any person out there. But look at the work she was able to do. So the fact that when she said, Luffy, help me, which is still one of the most intense scenes in all of One Piece. I mean, she's wearing the straw hat crazy okay so we did see that the along pirates they just went crazy they were like we're gonna take this so they just went and destroyed the whole coco village and also these villages have just been under torment for all this time you know for eight years they've been just taken advantage of they've been exploited they've been extorted this is my fight no this is our fight right guys Let's go. Shout out to the person who does the graphics for every the opening of every episode. You are absolutely incredible at what you do, and I appreciate what you do. Oh, the rat with a hundred million berry oh my goodness okay this time it only took me like a couple of minutes to forget the subtitles. I can't wait for this rat to get caught and get exposed for everything he's been doing. Oh, that's Usopp's smoke bombs. Fish lips. <laughs> Let's go. Straight into a fight. Let's waste no time. Sanji's kicks. Usopp's whatever you want to call that. Luffy's stretchiness. Rubber. Zara's sword. I'm messing it up, but still, whatever. Slingshot. Usopp's slingshot. Cool, let's go. <laughs> Roro no Zaro. <laughs> oh, just got here. Oh, there's the sword. Wow. And I know I said he's a, he was a shark, but he's a literal swordfish. I don't know. Sometimes the excitement just takes over and I, I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes, but it's all good. The thing about Usopp is you'll chase him and then out of nowhere, you'll... Oh yeah, he can spit the, um, the alcohol. Out of nowhere, you'll actually fall into something that he thinks up on the fly because you never know what new device he's come up with like whether it's smoke bombs or something wow Zoro is just destroying oh let's go the two that are always bickering with each other with some of the best combos we've seen in the show so far crazy whoa how fast is that Whoa! That's the thing about his fruit, bro. Oh, I would honestly love to see a Gatling gun. I've been saying it for three episodes straight now. Maybe even four. I was saying it since Kiro. That whole fight scene there. I wanted to see the Gatling gun. The battle was cool though. Gum Gum Bell, but other than Bazooka, which he did to Buggy, Gatling Gun is one of my favorites. Ah. Uh. 
Oh my goodness. Like Zoro, think about it. Zoro is killing every single person. <laughs> He's killing everyone. Like Sanji's just knocking them out. Go. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> the person that got to play Buggy has done an incredible job. Oh, alright. But like I said, Usopp and his traps. I won't even believe it. <laughs> Exploding star. Oh, dead. <laughs> this episode is bringing every single thing that I wanted. Fights after fights after fights, and also it's a shorter episode, which means that it's gonna just be jam packed all the way till the end. The fish. Remember, I said the fishman karate with with the palm strikes and stuff. I said that what second, third episode already. So not only are they super strong, but they have like their own fighting technique. Let's go. Oh, that was fast. You made me bleed my own blood. <laughs> oh, what? Oh yeah, you can just grow his teeth back. But is that not what a shark does? So was I really that wrong? Or maybe all fish do it, I don't know. This guy reminds me of Jimbei in a way. Even during a fight, they still having these comments. Like punching solid walls. Oh. Oh, the whole thing's gonna collapse. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I will nitpick just a little bit. But you see like the Zoro fights and everything. It's been insane, even the Sanji. Catley! <laughs> oh my goodness, as I said. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he actually did it. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Oh, right through everything. Oh, right through. The battle axe. Wow, Gatling gun with the battle axe. Incredible. There he is. The pirate king. So that was it. <laughs> Bro just can't win. Got to keep my strength up. Keep them with your cookies. <laughs> no, you killed them all, Zaro. Oh my goodness. They're there. Wow. That I was not actually even expecting that. Subordination or oh, insubordination. Oh my gosh, this guy as well. Come here, boy. The family dispute. Oh my goodness, what? Garp is insanely strong. I mean, you saw I picked up that cannonball and just launched. Even though that is one of his like special moves. If you played some of the games. Whoa. Slingshot. Oh, the rocket. Oh. Goldie Raja. <laughs> When's this rat gonna get what's coming to him? Oh, 
So what happened to the 100 million berries? That rat just gonna take it anyway. I'm upset about it, obviously, because, you know, it's injustice. He just came, he took the money, he went, just got knocked out one time. But, you know, he should be thrown in impel deep. Oh, she's gonna make the windmill, the tangerine windmill. The tangerine tat. There it is. Oh, the bounty. What's his bounty? I think I saw 20 million. Because that's the whole thing, like Garp was saying in the previous episode. It's the chase and, you know, what do they call it? Cops and robbers and all that. Obviously, you know, it's not my forte to get involved in, but they give each other purpose, you know. Without pirates, there wouldn't be need for marines. 30 million. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're going to the bread line. Let's go. Is she finally better? But of color in the face. What's up? <laughs> Zeph. Zeph is one of the best characters in this, this season. Like the actor did a great job with this one. Buggy. Which, I mean, could easily be exploited by any marine. So is that why Nazumi isn't getting punished? Because he's following his own code. And what's up with the haircut? Like, he just kept it. Zoro gave him a haircut and he just kept it like that. Miho. Shanks. I could still take it. Remember, they were all in the crowd when Goldie Roger got killed. You saw Mihawk, you saw Shanks. It's like everybody knows each other. Oh, right. We actually have something for you too. Oh, the, the new Jolly Roger. There we go. Wow. The straw hat. But like I said, it never lasts long, right? You have like the victory and then the next thing you know, you're being attacked again by marines or other pirates or bounty hunters or something. Oh, right. I'm gonna find the old blue. I'm gonna be king of the pirates. I'm gonna be the world's greatest swordsman. I'm gonna draw a map of the world. I'm gonna draw a map of the world, bro. I'm gonna become a brave warrior of the sea. Dun, 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 dun. Crazy. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. That's it. That's it. Okay, so they're gonna give a segue into. Is that who I think it is? General Smoker. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Bravo. Bravo Netflix. Bravo everybody involved. I mean, I went into this thinking that live actions for anime do not work. And this one worked. What else can I say about it? From beginning to end. Now, obviously, if you aren't someone who's watched One Piece in the past, you might not have that connection, right? That's understandable. I, I get that as well. But you have to give props to the props the set designs the attention to detail bringing this alive and for that reason alone should be you know one of the best netflix shows i've seen and wow i'm just i'm i'm just happy i'm what i'm even more excited for is another season who knows when that could be but i really had this was really a mountain to climb for me as well in my own personal ways and we made it here episode eight finished it off now we're moving into new things you know Know, moving into reacting to anime as i said in the past a lot of anime is out there just like one piece you know maybe not as long but just like one piece as well and perhaps if people aren't into it they might be able to see my reaction to it and be like hey maybe there's something there so that's gonna be it for me hit the like button if you liked it helps me out a lot and also subscribe with the notification bell on so that you can see more of this because there might 
might be some shows you've never heard of and i'm gonna be watching that so that's gonna be it for me not for the final time but thanks for watching if you're watching and i'm out peace in a bit